Nietzsche doesn't refer to the Bacchae much in The Birth of Tragedy. He does have two papers on Euripides plays, um, but in The Birth of Tragedy, he only he sort of bypasses the play. He doesn't go into the choral odes in that play or the poetry so much. He does mention the Minas, which will be an important part of my talk, um, the transgendered Sartres, if you want. But um, because Nietzsche's idea of the, the origins of the tragedy is based on this fiction of the Sartre chorus that, <laughs> of the Sartre chorus, um, that is the basis of the drama. Rich, um, he imagined that there was, you know, a troupe of singing um, dervish or, you know, uh, what's the word that comes out of Bacchae? Uh, Corybantic chorus, if you will, Ex, you know, rhapsodic, ecstatic, if you will, followers of Dionysus. He imagined that to be the origin of the drama, and that was a speculation because he wanted to go back to the ritual basis of Greek tragedy. He did 